Hi guys, I'm here today with Dr. Rudolph Eberwein and we wanted to make this video for uh, weight loss, uh, specifically on two medications called semaglutide and AOD, which we have found to be tremendously effective for weight loss. And I would, we would like to get the doctor's thought on how do they work? What do you think about them? What results have you seen with patients? Definitely. So uh, uh, again, you know, I've, I've had a weight loss clinic for 15 years. So weight loss is very dear to my heart. And weight loss always is the lowest hanging fruit of wellness. Um, we can always improve our nutrition and lose some weight. That, that's really everybody um, struggles with this. So um, this new medication, semaglutide, has really been deemed a game changer in the weight loss industry. We've never seen results like this. So uh, semaglutide is a new class of medication. It's actually, I think, the fourth generation. It's, it's a GLP-1 agonist, which is a glucagon-like glucagon peptide-1 agonist. And what it does, it increases production of insulin from the pancreas. Uh, so it tends to help decrease your blood sugar. That's why they use it also in type 2 diabetes. And more importantly, it decreases the, 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 our digestion. So it slows gastric emptying also increases leptin sensitivity. So with this, you feel more full, you feel right. satiated. So that's the biggest problem of most people struggling with weight control is they have anxiety to eat. And most of the medications for weight loss have side effects, they're stimulants. Right. Whereas this is a completely different mechanism. Right. So it really helps to help control your appetite. And I, I think also you've mentioned to me how you've seen how the, the patient's perception over food has changed because they realize they can eat less food. You know, we tend to think everything is extra large in America. And what, what can you tell us a little more about the, the perception of people's after taking semaglutide? Yeah, no, that, that's the important thing is that really semaglutide controls your appetite. Mm. If you eat less, it's easier for you to lose weight. Mm. It's hard to tell somebody eat less when they are completely plagued by hunger. Right. It's difficult. And then there starts the vicious cycle right. of the, the patient blaming themselves because they're like, look, I can't control myself. I have no yeah. control. Yeah. Semaglutide helps you with control yeah. and it helps very well. Yeah, we've seen that it, this is sort of like a, a leverage point where we've heard patients trying every single diet and with, with just always failing, never being able to stick to something that's worked. And the, the comments we've had from patients is that for the first time in their life, they've been able to not think about food for once for once in their life. Definitely, and one thing I want to say, the studies that, that they, 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 they did to, to have FDA approval for semaglutide are called the STEP studies. Mm. And uh, um, I think step four was the one where they did the study um, where after five, five months, I'm sorry, 20 weeks, um, they showed that people lost about 10% of their body weight. Then they discontinued the treatment. The people who stopped it, most of them regained their weight in that study. The people who continued lost another eight or 10% of their body weight. So it shows that the more you stay on the medication, the better it is. But I'm gonna tell you in our practice, we see something different. So we have a lot of patients who'll take the semaglutide for three months, six months, nine months, lose some mm -hmm. weight, and then they come off of it. And majority of our patients now are keeping the weight off. Why? Because once you lose weight, it, 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 it's, you know, we live in cycles. When you're in a bad place, you have anxiety to eat, you don't feel good about your body, you tend to want to eat more. Yeah. When you start losing weight, you feel better, yeah. you tend to be better controlled. Yeah. So our patients that we put on our combination of weight loss semaglutide plus yes. AOD yes, that we're going to talk my about, next question. Uh, it's easier for those patients, even when they come off the medication, to stay with better control. Yeah. Control is key. Now, what, what is the difference between semaglutide and AOD? How do they work? Because they're both weight loss medications, but different mechanisms of action. Well, and again, I think at the MHI, we're the ones that started this, yes. this treatment. So we love doing a combination of semaglutide plus this new peptide called AOD9604. Um, yes. AOD stands for anti-obesity drug. This is actually a peptide that is FDA approved mm -hmm. for weight loss. What it is, it is the last 16 amino acids of the growth hormone molecule that is specifically responsible for lipolysis or fat burning. Yeah. So how great is this? You get one medication to control your appetite, one medication to burn your fat. You combine the two together, 
we've got an amazing result. Of course, you still got to exercise. You still, uh, you, you know, watch the right. total amount of right. calories. But with that combination, we put tools in your hand yeah. so you can be successful. Yeah, the, I, I like to call it the weight loss power punch uh, because as AOD induces the lipolysis, we also recommend that moving your body is going to help you oxidize that fat. So it's also, you know, because I want to mention this, that a lot of people want the magic fix that they're going to inject something or take something and it's, they're just going to lose weight. There has to be a, a, a part of you that puts in half of the work, which is a basic nutrition, basic workout regimen in order to help you lose that weight. Now, um, the combination of them, how much weight loss have you seen when you do the follow-ups with the patients? Like, Well, when you look at the studies that they've, they've done for semaglutide, so um, the, the latest studies show about a 15% weight loss yes. after, eight, uh, after eight, uh, weeks. eight weeks, uh, about 33 pounds, 33 which is pounds. pretty good. They don't have really any studies of semaglutide plus AOD. Right. We're doing this, and eventually we're going to do some studies, mm -hmm. but that combination works amazing. And for our patient, it, it, it's, a, it's a triple play, testosterone, yeah, semaglutide, that's true. I and AOD. About that. You go on that combination, <laughs> you, you will get you're going to lose weight, no literally. literally. <laughs> yeah. And you'll feel better. When you feel better, you can maintain that. You yes. can be better. Yes. You can do better. Well, uh, to close this out, one of the things that we also provide for those that take it even a step further is uh, we call in for you a glucose monitor. So uh, one of the things that most people fail to do is counting calories. It can be tedious and difficult to stay on track with. So we help you instead of counting calories in real time, see how your liver responds to sugar. So for example, right now I have a glucose monitor, which is really for diabetic patients. And the doc thinks sometimes I'm crazy, but uh, I'm a person, I biohack my system all the time. So I always like to play with my instrument per se. And one of the things that I've realized is, you know, for example, if I go eat um, and I love cheesecake and I eat the whole cheesecake and my levels go up over 140 count, then I know next time maybe half or a quarter is the portion where I get to enjoy myself, but I'm not causing an inflammatory response in my body. So um, this is something we can definitely uh, call in for you if uh, once the doctor, if you see the doctor for semaglutide and he prescribes you, this is something we can also help you with. Anything else you want to add, doctor, before we close out? CGMs, continuous glucose monitors, are amazing. We used to use them only for diabetics. Mm. Now, for biohackers and wellness, it really tells you your, your personal chemistry, how you will react to different foods. Right. We've had patients put those CGMs and they are eating whole wheat bread and they see that their blood sugars go up. Yeah. And with white bread, their blood sugars don't. Right. So everybody's chemistry and physiology Very different. is different. With a CGM, with that glucose monitor, you'll know how you react to that. Right. Thank you very much for your time and God bless.